In this video, I'll explain when and how to use the Point Cloud Edit feature in Sol Pro Creator. It's quite simple. With Point Cloud Edit, you can delete entire point clouds or parts of your point clouds. Note that although the Point Cloud Edit feature can be used as a cleaning tool to delete artifacts, that is not the intention. Sol Pro Creator has several functions in both the scanning and the meshing processes, which automatically removes unwanted free-floating points. In this case, I've scanned a phone stand in four scanning passes, but from the thumbnails here, I can see that something went wrong with the fourth point cloud. I know that the other three scanning passes combined will have scanned the entire object's surface, so I can safely delete the misaligned fourth point cloud without the risk of losing essential information for my final 3D model. In Point Cloud Edit, I can select the fourth point cloud and zoom in for a closer inspection. It is clear to see how the round object slightly shifted position during the scanning, so I'll just click the Delete button and then Confirm and Close. The remaining thumbnails are now ready for meshing. Another thing that you can do with the point cloud edit function is to remove unwanted parts of your point clouds. I have a 3D printing project that requires a small handle, like the one on the spit holder tool. Normally I would spray a partly shiny object like this with 3D scanning spray to avoid laser reflections from the metal corrupting my scan. But since I intend to delete the metal part anyway, and because Sol Pro's dark surface mode will manage the black handle, there is no need for spray. Using modeling clay on the part that I will cut, I can securely place the tool in its most upright position. This way, Sol Pro scans all of the black handle in a single scanning pass. As expected, the reflections from the laser hitting the shiny metal part are all over the place during the scanning. But right at the end, in the finalizing stage, Sol Pro Creator does a great job tidying up and floating artifacts will be removed automatically during the meshing. To delete the unwanted metal part, I go to Point Cloud Edit and select my scan. At the bottom of the screen you will find instructions on how to zoom in, rotate and move the point cloud inside the working area. Hold down Ctrl to get the lasso tool and select any unwanted points. If you regret your selection, simply click the Escape key to deselect. When your selection is correct, press the Delete key to delete the points. If you regret a deletion, you can click the Revert button on an edited point cloud as long as you have not yet clicked Confirm and Close. In cases with more than one scanning pass, you must delete the unwanted points on all of the point clouds. Click on Confirm and Close when you're done. The thumbnail is now updated and you can start meshing and eventually save your new 3D model. Thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions about Sol Pro 3D Scanner. Thank you.